right, boys and girls. Welcome to Swamp Talk Behind the Bus. We're gonna have a nice little chat here. We are on site at uh, White River Paintball. We've had a very, very interesting day. Started out cold and turned out nice. What do you guys think, yeah? Yeah. Very nice day out there, nice yeah. and warm. We've got George Hay from uh, Rhino Dragons and the Brigade. He's been passing out the uh, Brigade patches today. Um, Not Taco from Mad Frog Militia. I got Connor here from Mad Frog Militia and Respect Paintball. And yeah, hi, I'm Mad Frog. It's very nice that he bought this tech shirt. For yeah, you see how he, George is very nice. One of the guys outside the team that bought one of these tech shirts. So very comfortable. Yeah, thirty-four ninety-five Max Sports dot Max Sportswear dot com. Okay, I'm sure the. Website will appear here in post-production. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're welcome, Dill. <laughs> All right, so we want to talk a little bit about this, but is there anything anybody else wants to touch base about today? What about the game? It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. It was fun. I can't throw a smoke grenade as far as I think I can. <laughs> I'll tell you that. A very interesting but the, field, man. But the second time it got done. Um, we had seven new brigade members that signed up. Ooh. Which is so, the most I've ever had at an event that I've been to doing patches. What is the brigade program? <laughs> 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 yep, those are my patches the, from events I've been to. Um, yeah, so you, the brigade program, you sign up brigadeprogram.com. It's, uh, 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 you get yourself a patch for different events you go to. Um, you get entered into a raffle. I don't know, George, you could probably talk more about it. Um, it's one time fee, $25. You get a tech shirt, kind of like this, but it's in camo. And you get a hat, and a patch, an ID. You go to different brigade events. This year we have, like, I think around 54 events. A lot of them. And you can get a patch with that. Some, some events, there's discounts on entry or paint at the events. We'll have barbecues at some events. And we uh, give away at. Sexton always hooks up the tacos. Oh, Let yes. me tell you, our brigade commander, good stuff. And we give away over fifteen thousand dollars in prizes each year. The top prize being you get a gear bag that, we, that GI makes, one of the markers that you choose, hopper, pants, mask, pretty much everything you need to play, um, pod pack, and they will send you to any brigade event you want to hear the hotel, airfare, set you up there with a game entry, and you get to pick someone else to go with you that gets the exact same thing. So Big time prize. prize, man. Big time prize. Good stuff. Actually, they're. The sec, the next down prize is a full gear bag. I believe that's yep, the next step it. down. Yep. Just a, you don't get the plane trip, but you get a full gear bag. Actually, one of the Aaron Dill was one of the winners last year on that one. He made out pretty damn good. Yep. Um, and a couple other people got that too. So there's all kinds of cool stuff. Brigade program's a pretty decent thing. Um, don't they do something where you could? Pick any brigade event, and yeah. then they like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the main. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the main the grand prize. Yeah, yeah that's the main grand prize, and it's two people, so it's not like just one person. You get two people. So Connor's just joining us now. <laughs> we just talked about that, but it's all right. That's Connor. He's not that's a member yet. Tired. He never listened to what I said. <laughs> it's been a long day. All right, but why were you tired? Was it running? We'll get, we're going to get into why he was tired now. Um. They ran around with the new Empire marker. As you can tell, it's a bit muddy and uh, beat up, but they had a blast. It's battle tested. There you go. Um, I think it's a nice, it's a nice marker. These guys played with it today, both of them. So we'll get to them in a minute. But when you buy it, you get yourself, you know, obviously you get a barrel cover. You get a two-piece barrel. Um, the marker itself. Come with a sweet case? It comes with a sweet case, man. Sweet case. It'd be nice if they sold those. Yeah, it'd be actually really nice. Empire, GI, hey guys. It'd be real nice if you sold extra cases, but you know what, they probably do. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> comes with a tool kit. We got video on it. That's <laughs> um, you know, so it's a nice, so a you nice know, so you, other barrel back you can get other them. barrel backs, yeah. It gives you the one front and spots to put three different, but it, it only comes with one barrel. Um, it would be a pro edition eventually that might Maybe. have more. That'd be nice. Yeah, it would be. Would be nice. I don't know. Who wants to talk first? Connor, what'd you think of it? This actually wasn't your first time using it, though, was it? You used it once at Lone Wolf for a couple games. Yeah, I did. Um, 
Those were just quick games. They were just too fast. Yeah. <laughs> we were in and out of there so quick, it was ridiculous. But you used it for a while today. <laughs> Honestly, it was it was really solid and fun. I he mean, wants I, to own it. He I wants to buy it off me. Phil, it's, it's already mine. mine dude. <laughs> like, you do a lot of paint quickly with it, didn't you? I'm I'm buying another case tomorrow, <laughs> so I can play with it tomorrow. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, I always use auto cockers or pumps, but I was blown away. Um, it was shooting really nice and. Uh, I never really realized how how big moves you can make down the field when you can put heads in. <laughs> Just spray paint. Yeah. Spray honestly. the paint. So it was. Uh, what do you think about how it felt? How it? I mean, it, how, was, how it holds well? Yeah, I was, a little, I was a little skeptical about the new grip, but honestly, they got like this little. Right here. <laughs> Actually, oh, really nice. And they do make a aftermarket. Um, trigger guard already for it. Oh. Boss makes them. I've actually seen them. Rufus okay. has it on his. They're real nice and it gives you a little bit different gap in there if you want if you want to customize it some. Cool. It's got a neat little on off too. It's a little different than uh, the flip down usually with the axe at the bottom. It's a switch lever. I always like that. I like the on offs in there because it's an easy way to kill the gun when you're walking off the field. Um, no longer has the joystick on like the other guns. It's got a two push buttons. Yeah, two push it buttons with the LED screen. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. I, yep. I've never yep. used. A, yeah. No, <laughs> nothing that you've never used anything that takes yep. a battery, huh? I, I hate <laughs> them, dude. I mean, I've borrowed them from people, and I've used to. I, um, tool list to take it apart. I've actually owned. A oh lot yeah, of and as far as taking it apart, you want to take it apart? Here you go. <laughs> Ta-da! Then you do whatever you do with it. And while well, you got it out, some people can see it does look similar to what it was in the axe and everything inside there, similar bolt and everything. But the air chamber is different sized. It doesn't have a plastic front on the poppet. It's actually got an O-ring that sits in there, so when it starts leaking, you just change out the O-ring. So it's different size, so we can go a lot lower pressure. But other than that, it does look very similar. That's why it's the sixth edition of it. Like that. You can see it goes in pretty easy. And even the. It's clever. Yeah, you know, that's right. Right. It's name, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Other oh, way. Yeah. Boom! And also. The... Even a not taco can do it. Not a professional. <laughs> What'd you now? You were the other one that used it today. What'd you think? It handled well. Isn't the foregrip? <laughs> yeah, the foregrip yeah. can come off and the side grips all come off toolless. They just snap on and off. Show us. And they have them. Um, <laughs> you can get them four different color patterns right now. We're all, all black. There's a black and silver and a silver and black. And then the black and red. Black and red. Um, one that's kind of a white, white and goldish kind okay. of color. So I like green. the all black. You can see them on. Oh yeah, yeah that's why I, I can see mine. this. I can see this being sent to CK and uh, getting a nice laser job on it. It's still or, hard, or you know what? I, I actually heard that, if I'm not mistaken, they can print full color photos on these. Yes. So you can take your logo or whatever instead of a, a, a literal a full color photo on it. That's full nice. color or full color. I have printed full the color. board settings on it. So you remember how to change <laughs> the board, the board settings. settings. That is the worst thing because you set it one way and you like it uh, and you don't touch it for a while. Then you go to a field and maybe something's different and you got to drop the, the balls per minute down a little bit. And it's like, uh, how do I do this? But it does still have a full LCD yeah. screen on there. So it's a lot easier than trying to figure out what colored blinks and stuff like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You don't have to count right away. I think blinks. I don't use them. <laughs> Come on. I just turned it on. That's you what just I turned did. It on I mean, I just, I just did one trigger okay. pull, kind of like so I was we... playing with an autococker, but then I got two fingers in there and I was like, what is this? So we got the experienced review and you gotta get a little bit more of a review dude come on what do you think handles well again <laughs> <laughs> you came back right. up for more paint quickly i know when you did it no i didn't yeah you did you came back quicker than you would have been with your real, the other gun i, I think you shot, i thought you shot more with that than you did you can put heads in and earlier. make moves yeah uh, you, you obviously can, i mean i wasn't um, trying to i go 
I'm sure Pickle has some footage. Yeah, well, you'll get some video in here of, uh, of playtime. Oh, dude, I, uh, I really like the Empire 6, honestly. Really? I don't know. I don't usually play with electronic markers. I always play with auto cockers or pumps. Yeah. DJ! But you like it. No, no! Right on the road? <laughs> Something, something right here. <laughs> I'm totally playing. Look at this. With this tomorrow. Right. This is number 471. Number 471. Yeah, I, re right. I recommend buying one when they get on the shelves. I think they are still on pre-order, if I'm not mistaken. They're still, but they're they're coming in hot, and yeah. they shoot very well. I mean, with the with the level loader on it, I believe this is a 1.5. It did well. This thing's muddy as hell too. <laughs> Dude, I went hard. <laughs> the GI the GI Sports paint we used today was pretty good too. Yeah, actually, yeah. Honestly, it was yeah, it was shooting. We use what do we use? A custom really blend? Well. Yeah, yes, custom blend. It's one point five. So anywho, I don't know. We got anything else we want to say, guys? We want to call it a call it a night and go to bed. Uh, I was really. How cold was it last night? I was able to get. It, it. was like thirty. Uh, it was cold. It was, but it was cold. I was clapping feedback. Oh yeah, that's the best part of this thing you can do with your fingers. Oh yeah, so you can tighten it a little bit with your fingers instead of okay. <laughs> that's the best part. You don't do this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is. It's like he's used to the axe where you sometimes have to take the Allen wrench in there to get it a little bit tighter. So you can fit some different hoppers on it easy enough. It's a different rag too. Is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah totally. Totally is. different rag. Totally is because there's your there's your chrono. Yeah, rags in here. Yeah. So I'm trying to remember the class I took. It's, it was a quick one-hour class. You got to learn a lot of stuff. Is there any speedball teams running these yet? Oh yeah, yeah. There's a couple of the pro teams I believe are running them. Um, and I'm sure you'll be able to see the pro teams right here on this list <laughs> that are running it right now. Our media, our media guy Aaron Dill's hating me by doing all of this. Just so you know, but we love him, so we're just gonna keep him busy, you know. And right here, you have the picture of a rubber duck. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just saying, it's a rubber duck. Okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> so they didn't. Oh, it was a tiring day today, though. I'm. I'm they didn't run these at World Cup, though. No, no, they these weren't really running at Cup yet. Yeah. No, they weren't out yet at Cup. So we can expect championships from these. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna have podiums. These this will be taking teams to podiums. Or to the podium. Oh, the winner's circle? Where, really, yeah. Those really nice axes they had printed the full colors on. Those oh, were really nice. Yeah, too. yeah. Those actually those were the minis. The I think minis? those were minis nice. that were printed. But that's what I was talking about. These can be color printed yep. too. Um it's real interesting. Especially I mean, some I of the bigger teams out there, even the scenario ones, they can get like a team one. That, yeah. I'm sure there's a minimum order. Minimum order, order and yeah. then you can get a custom print. So if yeah. you want like uh stores, if a store wants to order a certain amount. They can get custom custom logo guns like, markers like for a their paintball store. explosion. Yeah, it's paintball explosion version. You got your White River paintball version. Um, Hell Survivors. SC Village, maybe. SC, yeah, I mean you got a couple different ones. MaxSportsWear.com. There you go. <laughs> a Max Sportswear. Version. I don't know. Aaron Del Media. Yeah. Ooh, Aaron, order three hundred of these tomorrow. All right. Okay. You heard it. He's doing Can't it. Built-in memory card slots on the side. So <laughs> he just needs it. He needs an extra USB plug in it so he can charge his camera. Um, yeah, we're gonna get some more GoPro footage of that tomorrow. Uh, I, I think we're we're all pretty wiped out. I know it's been a short deal, but I think that's what's gonna make it enjoyable for you guys because nobody wants to hear what we we got to say. It'll just get I don't worse. know, man. I forgot to mention. Well, go I, for it. What did you forget? I core sampled today. I, I <laughs> With lived, this? Yeah. I core sampled and had my barrel wow. in the mud. How's this And one? I came out and I... And there's not a mark just, on the barrel either. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Dude, Looks I like, like a nice soft I went like thing. this. There was mud all in the barrel. Um, and it just, it just <laughs> shot right through. Um, I even was running low on paint. So I did 
pick up paint and wipe it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was I was and leading no I problem. was leading a charge. Like, Once again, he's using my marker. <laughs> oh no, it's mine now. <laughs> I guess he's buying it. I gotta order another one. Oh yeah. See this? This is battle tested. By, by mainly me. Sorry. There's already Sorry. hash marks that are supposed to be on it for kills. <laughs> After the cash exchanges hands. Yeah, after, the cash, <laughs> after, after another one lands on my front porch, you can do whatever you want to that one. All right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, well, I think that's it. That's all from us tonight. Mad Frog Militia out. You guys have a good... Uh, swamp Talk. <clears throat> swamp Talk, yeah. Have a uh, a very good evening, afternoon, daytime, We're whatever the hell. What, yeah, whenever it is you're watching this, even if you're watching in your underwear. Good morning, good or evening, good night. Hopefully not while driving. Maybe you're watching it in the shower. I don't know. People find that weird, but I, I actually do that all the time. <laughs> oh, oh god no so all right here we go oh, no. we're gonna we're gonna broach this subject so we had this uh one of the guys from the team works at a thrift store and he brought us a bunch of blankets and sleeping and bags. sleeping bags oh, quilts god. donations from the thrift store that he, he picked up and for the bus so we've got extra blankets and stuff in here which became very handy because it was cold last night well, as we're digging through the the box and we get to the no, very we didn't even see it till this morning. No, get to the very bottom. We're not doing any. You know, we empty it out, empty the box out, and we're all done. And we just set the box on the seat and we forget about it. CJ has a new well, microphone. The next morning, I look in the bottom of the box and there's this piece of stuff wrapped in. It. There's this uh, white tissue paper. So I grab it. I pull it out of the tissue paper and it's a in the box oh. yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> thanks gutta um it's actually a, a, a hitachi magic wand it was still new in the but, box <laughs> but it was it's it's from like the 70s oh. it's like the first version it, we were looking at the 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 book that came with it <laughs> <It's> so <laughs> by, by <laughs> and it actually it, 20 watts is that 20, yeah, 20 freaking watts? Watt. Uh, it's like 30,000 gigawatts. Gigawatt 1.21 gigawatts! 1.21 gigawatts! Great Scott! What? what the hell is a gigawatt? Or something. It's just totally ridiculous, but. We were thinking of leaving this, they wanted to leave it behind for CJ to use as a new camera or a new microphone. How you doing, George? <laughs> oh, great. Hey. Wow. Hi, guys. How well. you doing? Yeah? Well, well. well, tonight we're going to, no. This is going to hit the garbage if I have, I put it in the garbage twice and they've taken it out both times. There's, high and a low? There's a high and a low. Mm. It, uh, yeah. Should plug it in. I'm still I don't know what kind of use it's seen. It's not really dirty and it was wrapped it was in plastic in still. So Should plug it in and try it out. Uh, the interesting yeah. stuff that shows up in the boss. First we had the 10 ball challenge. Now we got the Hitachi uh, Hornado. I don't know. Oh, what What was that? It really fell out of Dill's bag as he was walking in and, and fell into the box? Okay. Yep. Like that's not gonna get cut out. <laughs> I've also lost some armpit hair on this bus. <laughs> <laughs> armpit hair, yeah. We actually, we've done some crazy stuff on this bus actually. The, the road trip to Ion oh. was, oh, fuck it, Bill. The road trip to Ion was something else, man. We've got some footage on that sitting back. Um, We'll see what happens with that. Go Sports is supposed to do something with some of it. Um. If they don't, we will. Um, no big deal. It was an awesome trip. Uh, hopefully doing it again this year. You going to Ion? Maybe. What about you? Wait, where is it at? Skirmish Paintball? Jim Thorpe. Is that Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh. Pennsylvania? Oh. That's where you gotta have your 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 pass for the tollway. Get this thing out of here, please. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have your pass for the tollway. He, he just he just threw it in his backpack, just so everybody knows. Um, honey, he's bringing it home for now. <laughs> what team would we be playing for if we go again? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I Scott know. has been bugging us, right? And Brandon McAfee oh, and those East guys. Super games, I don't know if we're playing for Allied or um, probably not. 
Let the Germans. Begin. Yeah, let the bidding begin, I guess. So you guys let us know who you want us to play for on that one. Maybe We're guns we'll... for hire. We're guns for hire. <laughs> Roger talked about wanting to go to Ion okay. this year. Yeah. Have Team Peg show up there and sell some stuff. Totally. Yeah, we were Germans totally last year. Totally. Yeah. Good, oh, that's the big one where they used the boats. So much yeah, we were at the Germans I've never last seen more year, and that, 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 <laughs> that landing, holy cow. That's that, the only that, way to get in, too? That's the only way for the Americans to get in. Oh, no, no, there's the paratroopers that drop in the back. Yeah. So so like those guys are sick. They said water landing or just. No, no, it's it's all land, but it, they've got the drop down doors and, um, on the boats. So you get like 300 people behind it, and then the door drops. At command paintball up and out. Wait, 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 wait. You get about four or two thousand people behind all the boats on the first run out. It's four thousand people. It's easy crazy. every event. Yeah. Oh yeah. When they do their um their, their D Day game up in Ottawa, Canada, they have rafts on the water. Oh really? That you, they load everybody on and then the things drop and you've got to run try to make it up the hill. It's how oh, the game starts. Oh boy. We're going to Canada. Lots going to of Alaska. smoke. There's like Alaska. dirt flying in the air from pyrotechnics. Paintball in Alaska, dude. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'd have to Google it. We gotta find a paintball field in Alaska. Uh, scenario, big game to play, guys. We need an excuse to go to yeah. Alaska. We need an For that to one go to week of the year that you're yeah. warm up to play. Paintball field yeah. in Alaska. <laughs> Let's check it out. What do, what do we got here? There's two. <laughs> really? Anchorage. Nine oh seven paintball and. Rep Road paintball field. All right, well, if any of you are open still <laughs> and you guys, you know, see this, obviously, let us know what kind of games you got going on. I mean, it's, I don't know. Yeah, actually, it's, there it's possible. Like still six o'clock or something. Is it? No, that's it's closed right now. Okay, it's closed? Wow. Yeah. Really? Well, it's like, what's those directions? How long would it take to get them from here? <laughs> <laughs> We're oh, going Lord. now. Shorter than Oregon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is what's well, from you go, I'd go from Oregon. Yeah, from Oregon. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, from Detroit, it's still a ride all the way across well, the Well, from here. As much as possible. From here. Oh, the gate the fuel. From here in Indiana, here? it's two days and 17 hours. <laughs> oh, man. 3,789 miles. We're doing it, Bill. Well, oh, only 3,700. Oh, that's not miles. bad. No, from here. I mean. <laughs> We did 7,000 mile road so, trip. So it's probably somewhere around, you know, take what, 150 miles off that to home? <laughs> Ish. I'm down. All right, how we doing? I'm bad, I'm it's time for bed. The field, I thought the field was great. The facilities are nice. Um, Friendly staff. Staff oh, is yeah. great. Uh, pr promoters pretty. It was pretty <laughs> cool from my my dealings with them. Food truck was them. amazing. Oh, yeah, that's the, oh, the food truck. The food. You guys, I think you guys, event. you guys saw our, our posts on Facebook earlier. You saw the food we got. There. Hi, it's going. Hi, hi. All right, guys. We're at White River Paintball. Having a good day, except for my little bump on my head. I hit <laughs> cabinet. Ah. Mm. Uh, Weather got good, and we're just about to grub down on some food truck stuff. Oh! Pulled pork french fries. Not fire keepers. This is actually my first time out here, and the facilities here are freaking awesome. They've got it set up really good. Um, I'd like to be out here a little bit warmer weather next time, though. It's warming up. It's getting better. Yeah, it's getting better. Do you, look at these. What was the name of the truck? What, was, what are we eating? Uh, well, everything on the piggy truck fries? was labeled piggy. Yeah, piggy fries. It was piggy, piggy fries. Piggies, like so. piggy burgers. So the piggy food truck. Oh. We approve. Other than that, I don't know what else to say, guys. I just want to watch. I have to watch it eat. While you guys are not eating. Oh, sorry. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I forgot. I am uh, That's the proper way. I don't know. Good, good day. <laughs> it's not as good as Firekeeper fries, but they're good. Oh, yeah. Firekeeper Casino when we were at MIS. Oh. I mean, these are on point. Yeah. Those are something to live up. Everybody take it easy. We're out here having fun, enjoying ourselves, grubbing down for lunch, and then we'll go back out and uh, shoot them up. Shoot them up some more. Bye. Food truck's awesome. Um, the promoter's got some cool ideas. He does this thing with uh, 
you know, the cheap uh, like uh, track phones. He gives one to each commander and, and sends information back and forth. We had to figure out a phone number and call it to get a combination. Um, yeah, it was interesting stuff, fun stuff, fun stuff. Uh, I could, there could be a little less mud at the at our command bases, but- Those are ones that thought out. <laughs> yeah, uh, once it thought out, it got warmer. Um, yeah, but uh -huh. we fixed, we just moved the tent back a little bit further inside the staging and it was still, it was drier, we could handle it. You had a choice of paint? There's two different types oh, of paint? Oh, there's two different types of paint here. That's nice for people, yeah. yeah. That was definitely nice. Um, we shot the GI Custom Blend, that shot good. And then you sell it in the wagon. Green, nice green color. Oh, Phil, wasn't it green film? Oh, was it blue? It looks like no, it's breaking. It might green. depend on it. Was green. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. okay. What about you blowing up right. buildings? Oh, me trying to, yeah. <laughs> you went on like four different smoke grenade missions. Dude, I was all I over just, the just, place. I just seen Bill like you know, flying around. Right. As soon as he picked that thing up, I like, I gotta go, I gotta go. <laughs> I mean, it was, I, I, I was playing, I was helping in command for a while and I guess I got a little stir crazy. And uh, it felt good actually, running around trying to get stuff done, found a bunch of props that were buried like up, except for this much showing and stuff like that on purpose, needless to say. Took out your Havoc, never used it. Yeah, brought my Havoc out, never really used it, <laughs> but hey, you know, it was there and ready. Um, with your new barrel? With the new two foot barrel, we gotta get some footage. Maybe we'll get some footage of that shooting tomorrow. Um, it should be some mm. fun. Old man but, still got um, it. Old man still gotta bite me, Connor. <laughs> I had some fun. I do have to work on my tossing though, because I smoke grenade right. Yeah, this is no secret. Smoke grenade sucks. right on the edge of the cabinet. It sucked. It sucked, man. Right on the edge of the container. I mean, it just yeah. It so. But the best part about it was, is he gave us two smoke grenades. So I ran back to command <laughs> and ran right back and did it. So. But you threw three. Two. No, you missed that one. Oh yeah, that's right. So I threw it the first time. It hit the green fence. Okay, over top of some four. I'm behind a four by four wall, uh, railroad tie wall, and then there's another railroad tie wall, and then there's the Connex box that I gotta get in. Wet noodle. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> this boy, this boy belly flopped off the ground like he went boom, boom, boom. <laughs> And I got back up. And he got back up, and he got the stick. But anyway, he got the stick twice. Um, so I threw <laughs> the grenade crap. the first time over the wall. <laughs> it hit the what are those green things called? The storm fence posts. <laughs> oh, like snow T fence. T posts. T posts, T posts for yeah. like snow fence. It hit the T post, the top of the T post, and bounced back. So I had to jump around the wall and throw it again, and it ended up right on the edge of the door. I mean, I smoked the building out, but the smoke needed to land inside. I don't get why. I was gonna get lit up. I had crossfire coming like crazy, so I, I should have just went for it. it. I should have just went for it. All that Nolan Gay smoke. That, was... You know, that's the biggest thing is I hesitated. Don't hesitate. It's just paintball. You're but gonna get the paint smoke and just go over again. Well, got oh, dude, I, I got a lot of. I, it did good, but the problem was is I didn't have cover from that because the smoke was blowing into the box. It was a weird thing. I'm, I've always been told not to throw smoke into a building, <laughs> but we had to purposely do it on this one. I don't know. I saw three different sizes here in all the way too. Oh, do they? Yeah, they have oh, three different yeah, sizes. They have the really ones. big. Oh, they have the big, yeah, big ones. There, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, no, we we got the uh, we got the standard size. I need to pick some of those up. Do we have any of the doubles? Um, yes, a couple, but I think they're back at the house. I don't have any That's the green one that shit house and I use with the yeah, double. Yeah. Close out the show. Yeah. yeah. All right, where's that? All right, yeah, yeah. Chill, chill, out, chill, out. chill out. No smoke grenade. <laughs> was, yeah, one. this is a close size. This is the pink grenade. Oh, God, the pink grenades. Yeah. Pow! And you can explain it to Shelly why there's paint everywhere. <laughs> Well, I'll sit here with our mask on and what do that. What are you talking about? We're paintball. Shelly? Well, why else she'll understand paint? why and she'll know who did it. No. Hey, what's um, All right. Well, anyways, I don't know. Is there anything else, guys? I want to go to bed. I can keep you going if you want me to. I want to go to bed. So. What'd you eat for dinner? What I ate for dinner, I had banana and a uh, zombie or the apocalypse food. <laughs> Chef Boyardee cold in a can. With a plastic <laughs> spork. Oh, that's awesome, dude. I don't know why, but I'll eat that cold. The mini ravioles, too. Be, so it wasn't the big fork. ones, it was mini ravioles. What does the plastic fork matter? Why would spork. Oh, it spork? was a spork. Oh, okay. That's it why. Right. So it wasn't a 
spoon or a fork, it was a sport. That's the yeah. best of both worlds. Yeah. Kids got an easy day in school. We got sports. That's all we got yeah. was a sport. Now they get, you know. The cutlery. Yeah. <laughs> and meat in meat in meatless Mondays. Yeah. Yeah. Meatless Mondays. And they don't even have pizza on every Friday either, like we did. That was the best. Weird. He's nasty, nasty. Food too. So it's worse. I'm like cutting you off. You're hiding back here. Um, he's um, trying to. He was um, sleeping. Just a yeah, he's probably <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm out there. All right. Well, anyways, this gets turned into a bed, and somebody's got to get to sleep. So we're out. Everybody, take it easy. Um, check out our Facebook page, our YouTube page, our Instagram page, our Twitter. Um, MySpace? No, I think MySpace. Nice, we didn't ever have a MySpace. You can check out Rhino Dragons on Facebook. There you go, Rhino Dragons, our, our guest, George, George here. Hey! And Team Tags. Team tags. Yeah, Team Tags. Uh, our Vanilla sponsors, Day. all that fun stuff. Vanilla Gay, GI Sports, Immortal Air. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting them all, but you know what? They're all right here. <laughs> Ta-da! See, that's all our sponsors. <laughs> Magic hands, right. guys. No, she has hands. hands. She has hands. hands. There you go. Wait a minute, that's a little creepy doing it like that, isn't it? Okay. Um, <laughs> you got everyone Someone take it care. Everyone take it easy. <laughs> We're out.